Now to a story that's still developing and will be for weeks and months to come. The Supreme Court opens the floodgates for legal sports betting across the country. It's a ruling that will likely create competition for Las Vegas, but casinos are not the only ones looking to cash in. News 3's Nathan O'Neill live at UNLV who sees a huge opportunity here. Yeah, well, right now the NCAA has a ban on hosting championship tournaments in states with legalized betting. But with today's ruling from the Supreme Court, that is a reality that could soon change. For years, the NCAA has kept Las Vegas at arm's length, a policy geared toward keeping national championship tournaments away from legalized betting. But Monday morning, the Supreme Court struck down a federal ban on sports betting, giving new hope that Las Vegas could host NCAA championship events. I think it would be great. Great for the city, great for gambling, great for everybody. The NCAA says they are still reviewing the decision to understand the overall implications to college sports and will adjust sports wagering and championship policies to align with the direction from the court. It's a great thing. There were four conference tournaments here in college basketball. Four different conferences made Vegas their home. Pro sports are coming to town. The sky is the limit, honestly. But UNLV Athletics is wasting no time. They're already in contact with the Mountain West Conference about possible bids, saying, quote, we are confident that Las Vegas can present competitively to host future competitions, as there is a proven track record of success in hosting multiple large-scale sporting events here in Southern Nevada. This is the place where it's been done right for years, and you have to capitalize on that. And to be clear, the NCAA has not changed its policy yet, but many here in Las Vegas are hopeful that that is only a matter of time. Reporting live tonight at UNLV, Nathan O'Neill, News 3. All right, Nate.